Hello and welcome to my channel. I am so excited that you've decided to join me for my watercolor journey. Um, it's going really well so far and today we are going to be making the, this sunflower bouquet. So I hope that you will stick around and see how I did it. And if you'd like to see more shorts and videos, you can follow me on Instagram at Wendy Burton Ali or TikTok. So starting with a quick sketch, I am just placing the centers of the sunflowers according to a reference photo that I'm looking at. And I am fairly new to sketching as well. I doodle a lot, but don't do a lot of sketching. So I'm just doing this really light, um, placing the stems where I want them to be and not too dark because I don't want to have to run into problems when I watercolor and not being able to erase, erase pencil lines. Okay, so I have grabbed a couple of jars of water, one for the clean and one for the dirty, and I am going to use a mixture of cadmium yellow and yellow ochre. And we're just gonna start with the leaves. And I am using my size eight brush, Princeton snap brush. Just doing a point press and lift with two strokes, looks like. I'm just going to go with a fairly light wash all the way around. So I'm just following around that sketch that I did previously. And as I said, I am following a reference photo. The reference photo comes from a book called The Fl Flower Color Guide by Taylor and Michael Putnam. So I will put that in the description. And I'm gonna go ahead and speed this part up just a little bit so you don't have to be bored watching me paint each and every petal.
Now you can see that I have just put half uh, petals on the bottom left hand sunflower that is because that sunflower is kind of facing toward the outside of the page and so we just want those leaves to be a little less dominant now I'm going back and I'm gonna mix this is the sap green with a little bit of hooker green And I think I may have mixed in a little bit of the neutral gray, um, just to darken it up, just a touch. Oh, that's yellow ochre. So we're just brightening up with the yellow ochre. And we're just gonna go ahead and put the stems and the leaves. This is a size six brush that I'm using, just the very point of the brush. And I'm looking at my reference photo, trying to decide where to put my stems. Cause that upper flower is gonna kind of go over and curve so that it's sort of hanging over that bottom flower. And these are things that I am learning as I go, is kind of how to uh, place the paper, how to place the brush, so that I get the look that I'm going for. Oh, I did not too bad with that. And then we'll just draw the center stem. And a lot of it is brush control, just getting used to how to hold the brush, the amount of water to use on the brush, which are all things that, that I'm learning on this journey. I'm gonna make some leaves, and sunflower leaves are kind of jagged and long. So we're just gonna pull those out from underneath and just kind of try and make those, get those as close in there as we can. You can see that my yellow paint is all dry and I will go in and probably add just a few more petals once it's all the way dry and I've got my leaves finished. Just trying to make the base of that sunflower a little more prominent on this one that's kind of poking over. I'm using my reference photo as a guide. Again, that's from the Flower Color Guide, which has been an excellent resource for me. Now just kind of dragging out those longer, longer leaves, making them a little bit jagged on that edge. Again, kind of getting used to the amount of water on the brush and the amount of color. see my head peeking over there to get a 
closer look. Sorry about that. Still learning how to use the camera and paint at the same time. <laughs> Darkening up that stem just a little bit. The sunflowers have those leaves that just kind of come out from the base underneath the stamen. And so we're just trying to add those in. Like I said, this one is kind of leaning to the left side a little bit. So I'm trying to make those leaves a little smaller on that top part so we get that look. And that's um, something that I'm learning is not easy to do. Going in and adding a little bit more paint. Darkening up the leaves. Checking to see if my sunflower is dry enough that I can start some uh, the center. And this is burnt umber with a little bit of neutral gray. I'm just filling in those ovals that we sketched out. looking pretty good so far. I am pleased with the way that it's turning out. Now we're going to go back and add some more petals. Again, this is the cadmium, cadmium yellow with the yellow ochre and a little bit heavier of a wash this time a little less dilute going to go ahead and speed up this part just a little bit. As you can see, I'm just placing in the spaces where there, where I've left space, I'm adding a couple extra petals.
As you may have noticed, I have gone in and added a little bit of yellow ochre um, without the cadmium yellow, just uh, the yellow ochre to darken some of the edges of the leaves, um, just to darken them up a little bit. And then I added some neutral gray to the um, uh, burnt sienna. And I'm just making those centers, just uh, dotting in some sunflower seeds just to kind of give that a little bit darker look. Just like that. And I will probably go back in when this dries and add a little more. But we're gonna go ahead and let that dry. And I did get a little too much liquid um, on that one, so I'm just kind of soaking it up with my brush there. Maybe even dab it in with the paper towel just a little bit, just to get that little bit of water off of there that I kind of got a little bit excited with. <laughs> Now I am taking some darker in and just now that those centers have dried and just adding some of the little lines that go around the stamen of the sunflower. So I'm just taking my size two Princeton brush, Princeton round brush, and I'm just going around each edge of the stamen on each flower and then just dotting in some more sunflower seeds just to kind of give that look that the sunflower has. This one I am really loving the look of this one because, like I said, I am new to sketching, so I have not really freehanded on my own much yet. I've just been watercoloring for about a month now, and I've mostly just been using um, ideas that I find on other channels or tutorials, and so this is probably the second or third one that I have just used a reference photo and totally sketched myself. So I am actually pretty proud of this one right now. We're going to go in and add some darker lines to the leaves just to make them stand out a little bit more. So I have added some uh, Windsor Green Blue Shade just to give those a little more depth. So I'm gonna go down each of the stems like that and probably add some lines. And now adding more yellow ochre to the cadmium yellow so that I can add some depth to the leaves, to the petals, I'm sorry, to the petals of the sunflower. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And I am switching again to my size two. I'm just making some lines and outlining a couple of the petals, not all of them, just a few. And I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up just a little bit. 
This is a more tedious part of just trying to outline and add some depth. One thing that I did not do with this photo that I probably will do in the future is um, some more shadowing underneath the petals, which again, I'm just learning. And so it's all very new to me, but very fun. And I am loving it. So it looks like I am just going to add a few more dots to the sunflower and we've got our leaves and our petals looking good. And I am just taking some more of that green and outlining and um, adding some more depth to those leaves. And I'm pretty happy with that. Just finishing up. I think this is probably the hardest part that I have noticed as I have been on this journey is knowing when to stop, when enough is enough. And not overdoing your watercolor or making it look too unrealistic. So there we go. If you liked today's video, click on the subscribe button and like and come back and see me again real soon.